Hey guys, so I'm about to actually embark on my first like urban exploring type mission. I have a list of about a half a dozen places. Some seem pretty sketchy, like I don't know if I'll be able to get into them. Some seem a lot more viable options. So we're gonna go, you're gonna come with me. I have my camera bag packed along with just some exploring stuff. Hopefully it'll be good. I'll hopefully get some good footage. Um, I'm bringing the chest mount, head mount, and a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? little extender stick for my GoPro so I can get some good footage. I'm also, also bringing my actual camera. So we'll see how this goes. Stay tuned. Hopefully we'll be good. I'll do the next clip just on the way there and then we'll start the actual video and all that. So hope you enjoy this video. It's going to be fun making it. See ya. Yo guys, what's up? Okay, so we're back. The video's going and we actually made it to the abandoned building. You can see around me. It's really cool. Um, some interesting graffiti actually in here, but we're gonna do a little bit of exploring, look around, try not get hurt, and I'll take you guys with us. So, so this, let me open my phone up to make sure I get my facts right. This was an old incinerator. Come on, load. So this was an old incinerator for this town, and, oh, cool. That's the ladder to get to the top. Way up there. Which, from the looks of it, we'll not be doing. Um, we'd have to get first to this one, and then to those stubs, and stub our way all the way up, and then climb. Which we're not gonna do, because that'd be really fun, but stupid. So, let me read you a little bit about this place. This is an incinerator building, and it's sitting in the um, abandoned woods of this area. We'll head down this area in a minute. Looks like some... Okay. So, here again, this is walking up to the incinerator. Pretty cool. It actually looks surprisingly good condition. It's broken down a couple areas, but overall, it's actually in very good condition. So, let me go ahead and do what I was going to read, and we'll go explore a little bit. Um, it's covered in graffiti, yeah, um, plenty of ghost and murder stories come with this area, um, people claim it's haunted, I mean, it's the typical thing, um, there was one person who was murdered here, yeah, so, there's not really a lot online talking about this place, but, we'll see what's down here. Where they would burn all of this town's trash, which is really cool. Um, not gonna lie. Kind of creepy. Um, So what it looks like, it's like this was where all the ash fell out of the incinerator. Um, so this is where they would scoop, all out, scoop out all the ash from the burning refuse. Of course, above us we have the ceiling with some stalactites forming, that's cool. We have some old stairs. Um, and down here, it looks really cool. Um, of course, we have the fallen in bricks from the building above us. We're gonna go up this back way here. There's the inside. That light is my flashlight. Let's see what's in there. We've got a pile of ash here. Um, it's a cool area, actually. Of course, we have spray paint everywhere due to the amount of vandalism and graffiti here. Um, so we got some stairs that would lead up to uh, 
it's been fallen in by some what appear to be windows that would just, you know, take you up upstairs. Or maybe that's a, that might be an old fridge. Of course, we got some other huge ash piles there. Um, let's see. What else is up here at the top? Okay. Back up to the main area. Let's see what else we see. Okay, so these are those huge, will look to be the holes where you drop stuff in. Now they have been filled up with a brick, it looks like. But I'm guessing this is where all the refuse would be dumped. Of course, we got two of them. Um, yeah, so either this is where ash was dumped or this is like the actual burning cylinders. And that was the big um, smokestack, for lack of a better term. Exhaust manifold, probably. Um, this is interesting. Um, again, maybe this is where they burned everything. I'm not sure. There's not a lot of history I can find. The roof is completely gone, aside from some precariously hanging wooden beams up there. Um, of course, here's those stairs we saw from down there. Um, and whatever that is. This whole thing. I think it's a fridge. Um, yeah, so let's see. What else is around here? Okay, so here's our big smokestack. Which is really cool. Um, aside from climbing that, which I'm not again, I'm not seeing any way to enter this building. Um, this is really interesting. A little creepy, a little freaky, not gonna lie. But overall, really cool. Um, that's a path that goes around the back. Look at all these vines. It's insane. Rip vine, by the way. Um, so yeah, this thing, I see no way to get in there. Um, so aside from the main area, I'm not seeing much. So we'll go back down there, explore a little bit. Um, and then we'll probably head out to a little more safe area, you know? This, of course, being my first Urban X. It's a little freaky, not having done this before. Um, but I'm really liking it. It's really cool. Just, like, poke around, explore a little bit. And record while you're doing it. Just, like, because why not? Um, so I'm going to turn the camera back around. And we're going to look around again. The flashlight, of course, is on. Do the highest setting. interesting um i'm not gonna go back there i don't think oh there's an old kiln you can see it see that back there yeah and then of course we got the exhaust manifold the ash everywhere so much brick from this collapse it's fascinating actually a ton more ash tons of graffiti This is so cool. I actually want to go explore more. And I think I'm going to. Oh, that is so cool. That's such an old light. Um, cool. Okay. Well, I think that's going to do it for me. This was really cool. It took a while to get out of here, but honestly, so worth it. Um, I really want to go into the far back room. But it just seems a little, a little sus, you know? You guys are going to go. Fun. I'm display as we can see. What's on the other part of this ash pile? Can't really see. Okay. Let's see what's in here. been really cool so i'm gonna take some pictures real quick and then we're gonna get out of here so i'm gonna go grab my camera um take some pictures so i'll be right back 
I get the feeling you're wearing out your stay a little bit too long. Yeah, that's the feeling I'm getting right now too. It's like I'm not afraid to be here right now. But it's like I think probably has to do with this being the first. Um And all that kind of thing. Um, just makes you wonder a little bit. Okay, let's take some pictures. Okay, so not sure how I want to attack this building photo-wise. Um, we'll see. Figured I'd get some, you know, basic shots. Um, I'm gonna take some on my phone too, just so I can have a wider angle view of this place. Um, I think this is a super cool area. I just like the roof of this place is insane. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to my phone with Pro Shot. You should totally download, not sponsored. And why should you download it? Well, we've talked about it before because it is a raw photo app that lets you shoot raw and shooting raw is of course the best way to shoot anything as I've said many times and this is actually so freaking cool we're gonna get that picture looking down Take a few pictures down in the basement and then we'll be out of here. And of course, as always, if you liked this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, helps out the algorithm. Besides, it just tells me and encourages me that you're liking this content. Because I love creating it. Especially this especially this, this is fun. Thank you for watching this video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm not sure what the next video will be yet. Might be another Urban X, might be a couple other things, you know? So I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, peace.